Hey, what's up, you guys? How are you? I hope you have a great rest of your week. If you have not seen last night's episode of Pretty Little Liars, I recommend go watching it before you watch this video. Spoiler alert! I'm going to say who the person is and everything in this video. So, make sure you watch it. Episode before watching this video. And I'm also going to say is, you know, when the season finale comes around, don't be on social media and sitting there saying you ruined it for me. Really, you ruined it for yourself by going on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or any other social, or Tumblr. Really? Don't go on there. Comments and state it. I guess you don't have any comments. Since you just like, oh, they didn't say anything. So we're just going to go on and there and bam, there it is. Mm -hmm. But anyway. The girls are looking for Allison, can't find her, found her phone, and they're like, okay, so they found this little secret room, they go into, I think they're in Radley, seems like it, anyway, as we're moving along, and I knew that was Mona, I was like, oh, okay, it was her, she's like, I've been following since Allison since she came back home, tracking her whereabouts and all that stuff. I guess to keep her safe. And they go into this room. And Sarah's like, I'm just going to stay out here. It's a little stuffy in there. So I'm like, okay, uh-huh. And they open up this weird web thingy. They start talking. And lo and behold, it's Cece. It's Charles. I was like, huh? I was shocked, to be honest. I was a little surprised, kind of a little disappointed. I didn't think the show would go this way, is the way they were saying it. It's sex gender. I was like, hmm. But they did. So we heard Cece's story. I felt bad for Charles because at that point where he was trying to, like, I guess, sister a bath and end up having hot water and didn't realize it. Like, and then he's got put in Radley. For so long, he wasn't crazy. It just made him crazy. But the scene that I don't get with Mrs. Kavanaugh when she walked out on the building, wasn't she pushed out the window? I'm just saying, what she pushed off the window? looking out the window sill and then pushed off. I didn't know she was pushed off the roof between Charles and Bethany. There was a scene with Toby and Allison when they were teenagers and his mom. That don't make any sense. How old was Toby then? Hmm. So Charles was this like maybe 11 or 10. Bethany, whatever old she is, she's crazy. Playing it on him, so I guess Charles soaked it up, and then Cece, Charlotte, so I see who she kept her name with the C, so, anyway, torture the girls, just for fun, because you were bored, huh, <coughs> really, so, you were technically bored, you stole the game for Mona, you and Mona were playing for a while, her and her wanted to hear more. And you said you love your dolls. Yeah, you loved your dolls, alright. Put them through crap. And you was about to jump off the roof. But you did, and we found out who Black Widow and Red Coat was Sarah Harvey. Really? Oh, how could she? I knew the girl was shady. And I'm looking forward to the time jump, the second half of season six. It looks really great. They're all grown up, and they all come back. I think this, the name of that one is the last one, I think, a Rosewood. So, I heard that Allison, you know, begs them to come back, so they come back. But I'm excited to see what the girls been up to since the last five years. Looking forward to that in January. But anyway, I thought this episode was pretty good. I liked it. There's those that didn't like it. It was disappointing. 
and also there was a lot of un questions and questions that needed to be answered that wasn't. And who killed Mrs. D. Laurentis? How did she die? And a lot of others too. We knew Officer Wilden was shady. Who never would be shady thanks to her because she paid um, him off to make it look like Mrs. Cavanaugh committed suicide. She didn't push herself off. I thought she came out of a window. Mistake me if I'm wrong. But I'm going to head this in this video here. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I have an announcement a video this Friday.